proven features have been retained, but not at the expense of moving forward. This principle is clearly reflected in the design of the new 911 Turbo. The side air intakes at the front now have titanium-colored painted slats. New LED daytime running lights are positioned low down and to the sides. The bar-shaped indicators also feature LED technology for high intensity and a distinctive look even at night. The simple twin-spoke design of the 911 Turbo 2 wheels is particularly attractive. Parts of the spokes and rim are glossy. The forging technology used permits low weight coupled with high rigidity. As an option, you can choose alloy wheels in the RS Spider design with a central locking device derived from motorsport. The rear end has new LED taillights, which extend outwards to the wings and are tapered. Nothing has changed when it comes to the aerodynamic balance, which is characteristic of the 911 Turbo. The biplane spoiler deploys at 120 kilometers per hour, 75 miles per hour, and retracts at approximately 60 kilometers per hour, just over 37 miles per hour. The 911 Turbo models have lost something, weight. The 911 Turbo is now 15 kilograms lighter, while the 911 Turbo Cambriolet weighs in at 10 kilograms less. The performance principle also translates to the interior, which features leather trim as standard. Efficient ergonomics are the key factor. The new three-spoke sport steering wheel can be adjusted by up to 40 millimeters, both axially and vertically. As options, a three-spoke multifunction steering wheel, a heated steering wheel, and in conjunction with optional PDK, a sport steering wheel with gear shift paddles are available. Porsche Communication Management, PCM. Featuring a navigation module with an integrated hard drive comes as standard. It is easy to operate using the 6.5-inch touchscreen or optional voice control system for conveniently inputting destinations, for example. There is an optional telephone module and integrated 6-disc CD DVD auto changer, as well as a universal audio interface for connecting an iPod other MP3 player, or a USB stick. The standard Bose surround sound system, featuring a total of 13 speakers in the coupe version and 12 in the cabriolet, delivers a total output of 385 watts, playing music from audio and video DVDs in digital 5.1 surround sound.